the function f of x is equal to 2 times the square root of x minus 5, all divided by 3 times x plus 2. We introduce two auxiliary functions. 1. The function u of x, which is equal to 2 times the square root of x minus 5. v. The function v of x, which is equal to 3 times x plus 2. We aim to determine the derivative of the function f of x. To do so, we apply the quotient rule which state derivative of a function in the form of a quotient is given by the derivative of f is equal to the derivative of u multiplied by v minus u multiplied by the derivative of v all divided by v squared. Let's, be let's begin by calculating the derivatives of u and v. Derivative of u. The function u of x is 2 times the square root of x minus 5. u of x is 2 times x raised to the power of 1 half minus minus 5. The differentiation rule for a power function gives us the derivative of x raised to the power of 1 half is 1 divided by 2 times the square root of x. Multiplying by 2, we obtain 1 divided by the square root Thus, the derivative of u is 1 divided by the square root of x. Derivative of v. The function v of x is 3 times x plus 2. The derivative of v is simply 3, since the derivative of a linear expression a ax plus b is simply a. Derivative of f. Applying the quotient rule, we get the derivative of f is equal to 1 divided by the square root of x multiplied by 3 times x plus 2 minus 2 times the square root of x minus 5 multiplied by 3 all divided by 3 times x plus 2 squared. Expanding the expression, the derivative of f is equal to 1 over the square root of x multiplied by 3 times x plus 2 minus 6 times the square root of x plus 15 all divided by 3 times x plus 2 squared, multiplying and dividing by the square root of x to eliminate the radical in the denominator. We find f prime of x equals 3x plus 2 minus 6x plus 15 times the square root of x, all divided by the square root of x multiplied by 3x plus 2 squared. Simplifying, we get f prime of x equals negative 3x plus 15 times the square root of x plus 2, all divided by the square root of x multiplied by 3x plus 2 squared. While waiting to continue the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video, as well as leave comments.